What's up and welcome back everybody. We're here again today in my snake room and in today's video we have 15 new baby tree vipers. Now if you come over here we have everything from green insularis to blue insularis to red squams, yellow squams, green squams, wagglers, vipers, yellow, <laughs> did I say yellow insularis? Yellow insularis, all kinds of crazy stuff. So we're actually gonna go through each and every snake and we're gonna clean all these. Now, how I ended up with all these snakes is these are actually Alex's snakes. So for those of you who watch Duff Does Nature stuff, you probably recognize these snakes right here. There was a transformer that actually blew at Alex's house and he lost power. And these snakes, they can't really handle high heat temperatures. So Alex had to bring all these snakes here. So we're gonna keep these guys here for just a couple days. We're gonna go ahead and clean everyone, give them fresh water. That way these guys don't have to worry at all. All right, let's get it started with the green and Solaris. Now, since these baby snakes are so small, we really don't need to put them in a tub. We can honestly just throw them right here in this bin and they're so small that they won't be able to climb out. Now right here we have one, two, three, four, five, six green insularis and one blue insularis. How crazy is that? Tyler had two blue insularis that made it. Six of them came out green and one came out blue. That's freaking insane. So what we're gonna do, we're not gonna take them out individually and clean it. I'm just gonna take all these guys out at once. I'm gonna throw them in there together. Then I'm gonna clean all these tubs at once to make it more simple. Now I've actually never even worked with the green insularis. So this is a first for me. I've worked with blue insularis, which is pretty much the same thing, but I've just never handled the greens. And boy, do I hate deli cups. All right. So guys, this is the same species of snake from the Komodo Islands. So these guys, the blue is the same species as the green and the green is the same species as the yellow. So you could breed two yellows together and get all greens, or you could breed two blues together and get all yellows, or you could get a mix of all of them. It's just super, super random. You gotta be careful because these babies are super bitey as well. And these baby snakes, these baby blue insularises are some of the hardest baby snakes to keep alive. So Alex has done a fantastic job when it comes to getting these little babies started on rodents and fattening them up with frogs. Now, these little insularises, they actually just stick to the hooks like glue. So if you're handling them, you really need two snake hooks basically to pry them off of the other. They should call them the super glue snake. All right, so one in there. You guys are gonna get a fast forward video of me taking all these guys out, starting right now. <laughs> All right, guys, look at that. A boatload, a box full of baby insulars. How sick is that? Thank you, Alex, for dropping these little bad boys off and giving me the opportunity to work with all of them. They are just the cutest little vipers. All right, now let's get the cleaning, those deli cups. All right, guys, we have all these little baby enclosures nice and clean. Let's go ahead and get these insulars out. Just make sure none are hiding on the lip. No? All right, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and start off with this blue one. Ooh, look at that baby blue insulars. You guys can see when they're babies, they're kind of born with like little tiger stripes on their body. But as they age, they'll turn a solid baby blue. All right, got that bad boy in there. Dealing with deli cups is so sketch because you have to get a big snake into a small container and there's holes all around the side and the lids just are not flush. It is hard to close and open these puppies. So if you're putting snakes inside deli cups, the chances of you getting bit goes drastically through the roof. All right, guys, if we are all done with the babies, let's move on to the squams. Now guys, don't go anywhere because all these squams are different colors and they're absolutely insane. Ooh -wee! Look at that. That is probably the, the darkest, reddest, most maroon colored squam I have ever seen in my life. As you guys can see, Alex has these little fence strips in there, but they're not that tall. So I went ahead and I made five more for his squams. So we're gonna add these into the enclosure. That way these guys can get up nice and high and we're gonna change the water and the bedding. So let's start with this red squam. Look at this. Now those of you who follow my channel know I have a red squam as well, but the one I have is a little bit more orange, a little bit more fiery. This guy is like a solid dark red, but look at how beautiful. This looks to be a big female. And check out her eyes. Even her eyes are like oranges colored. That is super odd. Now mine is red with green eyes. This one is red with orange eyes. So that's why squams are so cool because you can get literally any kind of color squam and any kind of colored eyed squam as well. Their eye color variation is absolutely insane. 
look at that guy, even his belly, or I should say her belly, it's got that nice red highlights. These snakes literally look like dragons. If a dragon were to lose its arms and legs, this is what it would look like. Ooh, look at that guys. That's a sexy looking tub right there. So these guys, they're off the floor now. They have a more buoyant, more, more thicker, secure spot to rest. So we have this little piece of fence in here. These swamps are gonna be able to come over here, intertwine themselves in those little squares and come off to the side and drink some water. So let's have one more look at that red swamp before we take a look at a blue one. That's the craziest thing. I mean, you could have red, you could have blue, yellow. I've seen black. There's some purple ones out there. There's literally every single color swarm. I think the only color swarm I haven't seen is like a pink one, you know? Now, when you're putting snakes like this in a little tub right here, the smartest thing to do is kind of cover the tub already. That way, when their head comes up, you can push it back down and lock that lid. That right there is a boxed up bush viper. All right, guys. Check out this one. This, out of all, I think it's five, out of all five of Alex's new bush vipers, this one right here is my favorite. Ooh. Mm. Look at this. He's literally like a blue turquoise color. And he just went to the bathroom, so he definitely needs a good cleaning. But look at this snake. Oh, he's so beautiful. Look at that thing. Oh my God. And he literally has like yellow banding in between. So his head's more green. And as the color goes down his tail, it ends with almost a perfectly blue tail. Look at that. Wow. Dude, look at that snake. Look at those keeled scales. Now these bush vipers are known to have one of the most keeled face scales out of any snake in the world. As you can see, this guy right here has green eyes while the other one had orange. And these guys will get about a foot bigger than this, but they don't grow too big. So this guy right here is actually a juvenile. He's not really an adult yet. All right, buddy. Enjoy your new perch. All right, guys, now from red to turquoise all the way to mustard yellow. Check out that guy. And this guy actually has, it looks like silverish blue eyes. So crazy. All right, guys, the next bush viper we have right here is actually a lime green one. Ooh, and he is striking. This guy is not happy. Let's see if I can get much. Ooh! This guy is striking a lot. Oh, now you do not want to get bit by a swarm. It is a nasty, nasty venom. Look at that guy. Look at that yellow face. So beautiful. All right, this guy has a bad attitude, so we don't want to handle him too long. We want to get him in the clay. Oh, look at that. We want to get him in the cage and clean his old enclosure. Done. Ooh, all right, let's pull this guy back out. I'm looking at his head. His head is so flattened out. Look at that. You can literally see his jowls, you know what I mean? His venom glands on the side of his face. This right here is a nasty, nasty squam. Ooh, look at that. This is the kind of squam that'll bite you for sure. Comment down below if you want to see me free handle the snake. I'm just kidding. Ooh, crazy snake. You're not getting a dry bite from one of these guys. Check this out. This right here is a specific locality of Waggler's Viper. Now these guys right here are known to hang out on the mangroves living above the water. Now that's one of the reasons why we have this water inside this enclosure. Now this perch isn't so good, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take him out, we're gonna update his perch, change his water, that way this guy can have a nice little home to live in. But look at this. Look at this Waggler's. Look at his diamond shaped head. This guy is full of venom. Check out that Waggler's Viper. Now these snakes are actually known to not have a very potent venom. Now their venom is used to kill frogs and lizards. So these snakes are actually known to have a very, very weak kind of venom. Let's get this Waggler's in her new enclosure. She's gonna love that a lot more. She's nice and perched up, a lot more dry. She has a ton of water to drink. She's absolutely gonna love it in here. Guys, we're not done with the Waggler's yet. We have two more to look at, and we have a yellow insular, so don't go anywhere. Now, I'm not gonna take him out because his cage is all nice and clean, but this is Tyler's other wagglers he just got. He's holding it down at my facility, and you can see how this guy is black and yellow, and then this one over here is green and red and yellow. How sick is that? But they're technically the same species, just a different locality. And then this up here is another Youngler Wagglers. Now, this guy has been eating great. Let's see if we can take the lid off of him. 
All right, look at this guy. Now you guys can probably tell he is a little bit lighter than that guy right there. Now these guys are actually born super, super light and as they get older, their color will fade into that nice, beautiful dark color right there. But have a go at that guy. Look at the colors. His colors are popping so much right now. All right guys, this is the last Viper cage we are gonna clean today. This right here is the yellow in Solaris. Look at how beautiful this guy is. They call this the poor man's white lip viper right here. If you can't afford a white lip, get a yellow and Solaris. Now when you're using these little exoterras, you have to be very careful because look at that screen mesh on top. This snake could very, very easily bite that screen mesh and envenomate you right into your finger. So we're gonna use this little door instead. Now this is another very bitey species. So you just wanna be super careful and handling this guy. And this guy has a little bit of size on him. He's definitely a juvenile in Solaris, but look at that. He is so beautiful. And his eyes are super dark orange. Such a beautiful species. Let's get him in here while we clean his cage. All right, the yellow in Solaris cage is all spanking clean. We added some aspen in there. Let's go ahead and throw this little highlighter back in there. He loves that top corner. That's where he loves to perch. Give him one little touch. Whew. All right, guys. And we have a little bit of bonus footage. Chandler stopped by the other night with 10 baby American crocodiles. I'm gonna show you guys that footage right now. How cool is that? We're in here cleaning in the snake room and Chandler shows up with what, 20 American crocodiles? Oh, I got 10, 10, 10? for now. Yeah. Oh my God. 10 baby American crocodiles produced by Bob Freer and Joe Wazalewski off their pair of crocs that are on loan at Zoo Miami, the ones that bite the tube with the kids that go through it. That's crazy. Yeah, Ziggy's little siblings, actually. Wow. So I get to raise all these baby crocodiles up for the facility, so we're gonna see if we can get a nice lagoon set up in the future and get these guys going. And that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of those African bush vipers, all of those different colored snakes. Don't forget, like, comment, and the most important part, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.